Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm working in Oldsmar, Florida today. Uh, I'm about to start working on this 2012 Yamaha SX192. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time explaining to you why what this guy did was bad, but I am going to let you know that Polyglow is not a way to fix the gel coat. It is a band-aid, basically. And so as far as what you're about to see, this gentleman bought this Polyglow. He thought, he thought that it was going to make the boat look new again, but unfortunately that's not how this works. So I will show you the boat. All right, so 2012 Yamaha SX192 looks awesome except for the hull. So what I'm gonna do is strip it all off and to do that, you're gonna use floor stripper. So I'm gonna get this looking much better by just taking off that polyglow with the floor stripper. You can see this side doesn't look nearly as bad. So I've got my lovely wife Tony over here cleaning the interior. She's knocking out that clean out port right now. Um, but this is where we're at. First step, remove the poly glow. Second step, fix the gel coat. Um, I did send the owner to West Marine because if this was my boat, I wouldn't want these huge gashes out of it. Um, fiberglass is water permeable so that huge gash right there if you leave that sitting in the water for a decent amount of time water will soak through and this boat, boat will sink so I'm going to slap some marine techs in these areas and uh, that's about it but That'll fix those areas and seal them up and you'll never have to worry about them again. Marine Tex is awesome stuff. So anyway, time to remove this Polyglow. I gotta mix up a nice mixture, which uh, I have my industrial de degreaser in here and water. Uh, and then I'm gonna put that floor stripper in there as well. So it's gonna just knock it all out. So time to get to work. All right, I'm removing the Polyglow with this concoction of floor stripper and my really heavy duty industrial degreaser with water. And you can see, I scrubbed it with the hard bristle brush. Look at that shit. Look at that nasty pile of nastiness. Oh, it's so, here, I need that water. It's so gross. But anyway, I'm scrubbing it and it's literally just falling off. That Polyglow is some nasty stuff. I'm just, uh, I don't have any tarps, unfortunately, so we're just using the water to make sure I don't damage the driveway with this stripper, so. I just wanted to show you guys what the a little bit of the process was about removing this stuff. You spray on the stripper, you let it sit for a few minutes, then you go ahead with uh, the brush and try to break it all down, and then you'll rinse it off, and then you'll do it all again, several times. All right, we'll be back when it's time to polish, probably. So now I'm setting up to polish. We got my uh, Max Shine rotary there. My new 50-foot uh, Made in America uh, extension cord. It's 12-gauge wire. Super heavy-duty, and that's what you need when you're using these uh, these rotary polishers because they draw a lot of a lot of energy. Um, this side's ready to go. I am, in addition to throwing that Marine Tex underneath on the keel, like I told you already, under there. In addition to fixing that for them, I'm going to take a razor blade and trim back these decals because they look like garbage. And he doesn't want to pull them off, so I'm just going to try to trim them back and go from there. But this is what it looks like before I polish anything. All right, time to get to the real work. 
Well, that's Florida for you. We get halfway into the detail and it starts pouring down rain. So now, fortunately, my client left his garage open so we could, well, use the outlets in the garage. Uh, pull that in there. So we are now waiting out the rain of a Florida rainstorm. <laughs> oh, great. All right, well, we'll catch you whenever the sun comes back. Okay, so with exception of just some hand polishing around these uh, ports here, this section's all done. You can see the vast, huge difference between the oxidized portion where the polyglow was that I removed and how I've compounded it out looking awesome. So that's what the whole boat should look like when it's done. But that's all I've gotten done. I'm gonna hand polish those areas and I'm gonna get back to compounding this. Then everything is getting polished with Universal All-in-One from the One system. And then it is getting my three year Ceram Acrylics uh, Pro Hybrid Marine coating. So back to work. All right, well, I am still polishing this thing. I still have most of this side left to do, but the top's all done and the other side's done. I'm not gonna show you the other, other side right now. When I do the uh, finished video, I will show you the other side because it looks friggin' awesome. All right, I'm gonna keep on keeping on. Um, I am using a brand new product uh, for, I'm not gonna tell you where it's at. I'm, gonna I'm not gonna tell you anything else. I am using a brand new product on the boat. Uh, it's for 2021, but it's pretty awesome. So um, we'll talk about that more later, but for now I have got to get back to polishing this beast. All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this 2012 Yamaha SX192 is complete. Looks awesome. Polished the full exterior and Tony, my wife, handled the interior. And then we gave the trailer and fenders a nice wipe down, but this thing was trashed. That polyglow stuff does not want to come off, but it doesn't last long enough to justify all the work you've got to put in to do it. Everybody's like, oh, well, we'll just hydrate the gel coat with this polyglow stuff. It's kind of like a varnish uh, would be for wood, but it soaks in the gel coat and it stays there. The problem is it streaks really bad. It's hard to get it to lay flat. But the biggest problem is it doesn't last more than maybe five, six months in my experience. And then it's looking like this boat did from the beginning. And the biggest problem with that is it is a mother to get it off. Um, I used some stripper, uh, that Zep stripper, to uh, get a lot of this side free of the polyglow. I did not use it on the other side. We were heavily soaking the ground. I wanted to make sure that I didn't damage this customer's driveway. Look at this beautiful house and beautiful driveway. And I just wanted to make sure that I didn't damage it. The, my client specifically asked that I make sure I don't damage his driveway, but I always make sure I don't anyway. So there's this side, it looks amazing. I got all the polyglow off. I used um, a brand new uh, cutting compound for gel coat that I'll be releasing in 2021. I'm not gonna say any more about that, but it also doubles it as a fantastic metal polish. Um, it also removes P600 grit sand scratches. <laughs> sand scratches, it's pretty amazing, it's good stuff. Uh, so it's more like a, it's more like you're sanding than you're polishing, but it's a polish. So there you go. Looks awesome. This guy's going to enjoy the boat now versus I guess feeling like you got a nice boat, but you're not enjoying it because it looks like poo. 
So we got her straight though. That's it. So anyway, this has been Gary Dean from DetailJuice.com. Check out DetailJuice.com for all your product needs. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. If you want to be a part of something bigger than detailing, check out that group. Send us a request. We'll get you in there learning about detailing, learning about my products. Um, if you've got any other questions for me or if I can assist you in your detailing endeavors or even do a detail for you, 813-846-4406 is my cell. And again, that Yamaha is looking fresh, fresh and clean. Um, I also slapped on some marine techs in the areas where it looks bad. I did tell my client that he's going to have to go back over this and sand it flat. Uh, but I cleaned it really well with acetone. Uh, Gave it a light sand in those areas, and then I filled it in with the gray marine text. Um, once he sands it down a little bit, it'll be nice. But what I tried to do was give him kind of like a false keel, uh, where I semi-evenly put it on that whole section of the keel that was all ate up um, in this area right here. Uh, I'm sorry. This area right here was a huge hole. It's all sealed in now. So there's no worry that water is getting into the boat when it's sitting around. So I took care of that. In addition to removing the polyglow, compounding, polishing, uh, I used the new polish on uh, the, the gel coat after I removed the polyglow with the stripper. I used the new polish, the sanding polish, and then we polished the whole boat after that with Universal All-in-One with the Harbor Freight DA and orange buff and shine pads. So anyway, boat looks great. Uh, I also took my little pocket knife and I trimmed around all those decals um, and just basically cut them back where they weren't hanging off anymore. Uh, he didn't want to take them all the way off, which I'm glad because it would have been a pain, but they look a lot better now without random pieces looking like they're falling off. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, let me know if I can help you with anything detailing related. All right, so I cleaned the fuel cap up as best I could get it with... Uh, I ran out of my Marine Series mold and mildew remover, which would have made this look more white, but I went ahead and used Universal Clean and Prep and got uh, the majority of the gunk off of the fuel filler cap. Um, one more thing I just wanted to knock out. There was a bunch of residue from the A, which is missing there, and I got all of that off. So, all right, guys. Thanks for watching.